shake sometimes shows us a glimpse of uh, part of his station of his holiness. And we sort of have that proof we know that. How is the ego still able to whittle away that connection and make this sort of fall away? It is called a veil, a veiling. Okay? We talk a lot about unveiling, but in this way we also talk a lot about the veiling. You put something in between, covers. The reality is still there, but because you cover it, you don't see that reality, you deny that reality. You understand? Nobody can deny the reality of the sun, but if you veil Yourself from the sun. You cannot veil the sun. You veil yourself. Then, like this, to you the sun doesn't exist. But this is unnatural. This is natural. You veil yourself. Once upon a time you see and you understand and you experience. But once you start veiling yourself, you don't experience, you don't see it anymore. Because you don't see it anymore, you're convincing shaitan and sits on you and says, it was never there. You're only fooling yourself. This is reality. You become, once you start veiling, you become what? Huh? You become blind. First you cover your eyes and then you say, no, I'm not going to look. Then you start destroying the organ that makes you to see, the ability that makes you to see, you destroy it with your ego, you destroy it. Every sign that comes, you say, no, 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 no. Then you become blind. Once you become blind, you may even open your eyes, but you can't see anything. A thousand suns can shine on you, you'll still deny everything. You understand? This is mankind. He has the ability now to veil himself, he has the ability now to unveil himself. No one else can do it for him. No prophet can do it for him. They have that power, but they cannot do it for him unless there is permission and the prophets are just showing, the awliyaullah are showing. Look at this, they say, take it away. Look at this, take it away. So how a man can do that? Very easy. You understand? But. Is that real? No, it's not. It's just being stubborn. That is a veil. And stubbornness comes with hundreds and thousands of tricks and traps of that. How are you going to know? Are you investigating that? Are you understanding what it is? We talked about all the four and so many years we're talking. We're talking about hundreds and thousands so many times when we're actually going through it, when people are actually going through it, they say, no, I'm not being stubborn. I'm being right. No, I'm not being arrogant. I'm being just. No, I'm not being angry. I'm being real. What happened? What happened? And who are you saying it to? To the one who's teaching you. Yeah, a little bit here and there, it's okay. But don't let it to completely overtake you. You lose. You lose that time. Unless the person is so arrogant, he thinks, no, it cannot be. I'm right. Everyone else is wrong. I'm right. Bro, if you're right, why are you going? Am I right? Right? I'm right, right? I'm going. I'm right, right? I'm right. Am I right? I'm right. I'm right. Going everywhere saying, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. If you're right, you know you're right. If it's between you and Allah, you won't say nothing. The fact that you're going everywhere to see there is something there. You need that kind of support. From who? The one who is there telling you what is right and wrong. Why not going to him? Shaitan says, don't. No. Because so many times it begins with a small thing. Don't make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Don't. It is small. What they say, uh, make the big things small and the small problems to disappear. Not to make the small problems to be gigantic. You understand? 
Astaghfirullah, Azimah, Tuwuleh. It's for us to know, inshallah. <laughs>